Hello. Welcome to this lesson of our study of vectors. So, um, in this lesson, we'll go through the second phase of collinear vectors. And this time, we'll talk about three vectors being collinear, okay? So, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to support the channel. Alright, let's start. So, given the vectors OA, that is the position vectors OA, OB, and OC, so it can be any three vectors, okay? Then the three vectors are collinear if so they will be collinear if this statement holds you find ac the magnitude of ac should be equal to the sum of the magnitude of a b and b c so let's say if i have say um a let's say a is here okay a is here from a to b okay uh, let me see so let's say I have it here, B, C, okay? So the magnitude of A to C, okay? So they should, they, they should form, let's say they should form a triangle. Let me put it that way. So they should form a triangle like this. Meaning the magnitude of this to this, summation of this, summation of this, their magnitude should be equal to summation of this one, okay? I hope, I hope you get it. So let's go ahead and... I hope you've copied this down. Copy the um, how do you call it the relation down and take. A, let's take an example and work on it. Okay. So show that the points A, which is negative two i plus three j plus five k, and B, which is i plus two j plus three k, and then C, which is seven i minus k. Um, you are supposed to show that. Um, I, I didn't finish it. Show that this and that and that are collinear. Okay. Are collinear. Let me put it that way. All right, so um, solution. Let's solve it. Now let's say our OA is given us as the position vector for A is negative two i plus three j plus five k, and our OB is also given us i plus two j plus three k. And our OC is giving us 7i plus 0j minus k. This is what the whole of this means, okay? So, from our relation, we are supposed to show that AC, the distance or the magnitude of AC is the same as magnitude of the summation of the magnitude of AB and BC, okay? I hope you get it. So, we are supposed to show this. So, what we need is we have to find AC, AB, and BC. Okay, so AC from the line or, yeah, let's say the vector joining two points, AC will be equal to OC minus OA. We discussed this in our previous one, so I hope you understand this. And this will give me 7i plus 0j minus k minus now my a o a is given as negative 2 i plus 3 j and plus 5 k that was what we had in the question so this means that i have 7 i plus 0 j um, let me let me write it off minus k plus 2 i minus 3 i minus 5 k so AC will actually be equal to 9i minus 3j minus 6k. Okay. And the next one is you're supposed to find AB. Okay. The vector AB. And AB will be equal to OB minus OA. Okay. And this is the same as now AB is I. That's OB is I plus 2J plus 3K minus O is negative 2I plus 3J plus 5K. And this is the same as I plus 2J plus 3K. Okay, let me write it over plus 3K plus 2I minus 3J 
minus 5k okay so if you continue to the other page you have a uh, ab to be equal to now uh, you solve it i know you know how to go about it so you get 3i okay 3i let me let me write it. 3i minus j minus 2k now you're supposed to also find out bc and bc is oc minus ob okay and this is equal to oc 7i plus 0j from r right and this is how you wrote it 0j minus k minus now ob is what um i plus 2j plus 3k okay now if i continue then i'll get something like 7i plus 0j minus k minus i minus 2j minus 3k now everything will give me 6i minus 2j minus 4k so i have what i need okay so i know my ac to be um we had ac for 9i minus 3j minus 6k our ab was given us um 3i minus j minus 2k i hope you followed up and our bc was also given us 6i minus 2j minus 4k i hope this is okay now so i was supposed to show that the distance ac distance or the magnitude of ac the same magnitude the summation of these ones okay summation of these magnitudes so first of all let's find the magnitude of a b and c and that is the square root of 3 squared plus negative 1 squared plus negative 2 squared and that is distance a b is square root of 14. now you go to magnitude of b c okay and that is also square root of um, say squared plus negative 2 squared plus negative 4 squared and this will give me 2 square root of 14 square root of 14 okay now let's find magnitude of AC okay and that is square root of 9 squared plus negative 3 squared plus negative 6 squared and that is 3 square root of 14 okay now for us to prove that th these are collinear we are saying that you should show that this is equal to this one plus this one bc if this holds then they are collinear what is the magnitude of AB? We had square root of 14. Magnitude of BC, we had 2 square root of 14. And this will give me 3 square root of 14. And what was the magnitude of AC? It was indeed 3. Okay. It was um, 3 square root of 14. So since this is equal to the summation of these, indeed the three vectors given are collinear. Okay, so that is how you prove if three vectors are collinear. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, next discussion, we talk about the scalar dot products and the cross products. So, stay tuned. Okay.